Well, Afghanistan's unique geographical position has made it home to ancient civilizations that have left behind a rich cultural heritage, but the war-torn country has now fallen victim to looters. As RT's Paula Slear reports, Afghans believe NATO forces sent to protect the country are actually the ones to blame. Ever since Afghanistan was invaded by Alexander the Great nearly 2,500 years ago, the country has seen one foreign army after another. In recent times, the British, the Soviets, and now the Americans. And whatever reasons they give, the impact of war continues to leave a cultural scar that runs deep through Afghan civilization. The National Museum of Afghanistan should have items dating back thousands of years, but instead it has bullet holes and destroyed artifacts. First it was the civil war, then the Taliban, and now there's a new enemy. Which is why on this plaque in front of the main gate of the museum is an expression in diary, a nation stays alive when its culture stays alive. In the Civil War, the museum was a military base, struck by rocket fire and largely destroyed. Later, the Taliban ransacked whatever items had not been moved to safekeeping. And now, there's a new enemy, smuggling in areas where the foreign forces are currently in control. Some PRT or some military force of other countries, in the night they are doing some digging. Even some NGOs working in the remote areas of the country they are also involved in this one. But unfortunately, within the last eight years, we didn't put in trial a single smuggler of the cultural heritage of Afghanistan. Nobody has been arrested. Nobody has been put in, in jail. And nobody investigated this issue. The Afghan government simply doesn't have the resources. Seven years ago, a special police unit was set up to stop the illegal excavations. But 500 officers can't do much especially when a lot of the digging is reportedly at night in areas under NATO control. Recently, around 7,000 artifacts were returned to the museum, which had been smuggled out of the country. These pieces were found in England. It was easy for the museum's director to recognize them as being Afghan. Most of these 2,000 pieces were got it by these looters, which was an Afghan looter. They transferred it from Afghanistan to neighbor country, to neighbor, from neighbor country to Dubai, from Dubai to Heathrow Airport. You can imagine one looters will be able to collect this kind of artifacts, to got it, they transfer it by airplane to Heathrow Airport of UK. This is uh, the simple Afghan people cannot do these activities. But NATO forces deny the charges. That is completely uh, against the, the uh, values that we hold uh, as, a, as an army. Just stealing is just not acceptable uh, behavior, so um, I'm not aware of it, and I certainly wouldn't tolerate it. As a former crossroads of major trade routes, Afghanistan's been home to some of Asia's most complex and unique civilizations. Today, there are 3,000 archaeological sites. And while that rich seam of history waits to be unearthed, those supposed to protect it will need to dig deeper to beat the looters. Paulus Lear, RT, 